For those of you who still don't know what caused the monster waves along the coast of South Africa this past weekend, let's quickly investigate by looking at the synoptic chart on Saturday, where we had this mid-latitude cyclone, better known as a cold front, that sweeped across South Africa with the course sitting south of the country and behind the Slopish system. We had something us meteorologists call a long fetch. Now, a long fetch is when strong winds blow constantly over a far distance in the same direction. So it gives waves more than 6,000 kilometers away from South Africa, enough time to build up energy and become much bigger before slamming the coastline. Now at the same time, it was also spring tide on Saturday. So the combination of the meteorological long fetch and the astronomical spring tide is responsible for the huge waves and extremely dangerous storm surge. It was actually the storm surge that caused the flooding over the coastal areas and it's the rising of sea level due to strong winds and a change in atmospheric pressure. This is, can be extremely destructive and dangerous as we've seen on videos and photos shared widely on social media this past weekend. But now let's get back into your Tuesday forecast. On Tuesday, the waves are calming down over the southern and east coast, but ahead of another front, we're expecting wave heights of about 4 meters along the coast of the Western Cape. This is this where the Weather Service has only issued a level 1 warning for the possibility of high waves that could lead to difficult navigation along the sea. We can see that cold front approaching South Africa, but the good news is ahead of this front, you can expect the first spring thunderstorms to develop over the central and eastern areas of South Africa. They will bubble up here over northwest in the Free State and move north eastwards into parts of Limpopo, over Gauteng, Pumalanga and KwaZulu-Natal. Keep in mind this time of the year the storms can quickly blow away and will most likely only bring some isolated storms settling the dust in some areas. That cold front only reaching the southwest coast on Tuesday evening. Winds will also pick up ahead of the storms over northwest halting the free state as well as parts of the high felt and a north northwesterly wind blowing fresh to strong ahead of the cold front in Cape Town and then icy cold westerly wind spreading along the southern coastline on Tuesday evening as that cold front moves over the southwestern areas. Isolated storms expected over the northeastern areas of South Africa. As mentioned, those storms will only bring some relief to areas settling the dust, and they'll bubble up first year over northwest in the Free State, later moving over parts of Halting and into the evening into Limpopo and Malanga. That cold front only bringing light rain, mainly the evening for the southwestern coast. It's a foggy start to your Tuesday morning for the west coast, as well as in Langabon, and then a northwesterly wind blowing ahead of that cold front. Prefrontal drizzle possible, but most of the light rain falling on a Tuesday evening. Winds picking up here in parts of the Karoo, as well as the interior of the Western Cape, and then into the evening, an icy westerly wind also blowing freshly strong along the southern coastline. But it's a mainly sunny and warm day. It's a very warm day for parts of the Eastern Cape with a high of 27 degrees in Kua as well as Mtata. An onshore flow for East London with a high of 22 degrees as well as in Port St. John's. Later that northeasterly wind blowing strong in Richards Bay and heating up quickly in Peter Marisburg with a high of 29 degrees, mainly sunny skies. And then due to the heat, a few isolated evening thunderstorms likely here over the northeastern areas. The wind also picking up ahead of a few isolated thunderstorms expected mainly into the evening over the high felt of Mpumalanga, a hot day for the low farm. Remaining sunny and hot in the low felt of Limpopo, as well as over the interior. Late afternoon into the evening, a few isolated storms expected to bubble up here over the bush felt and spread northeastwards overnight into Wednesday morning. The storms will first develop here over parts of northwest, bringing some relief and settling the dust, but some of them will quickly blow eastwards. Temperatures will be hot, reaching 30 degrees and windy ahead of those thunderstorms. In the northern Cape, foggy at first along the coast, and then later the wind picking up here in parts of the crew, heating up over the northern areas. The wind also blowing fresh ahead of isolated thunderstorms expected from late afternoon over the northern and eastern areas of the Free State. After a very warm day in Halteng, we're expecting a few isolated thunderstorms to bring some relief to the heat and settle the dust in isolated areas, but the storms will most likely blow over, over some parts. 
Overnight into Wednesday, the thunderstorm spreading northeastwards over parts of Limpopo as well as Malanga. And it's still quite chilly here in Cape Town with more light rain possible. On Thursday, we've got another cold front bringing light showers for the southwestern coast. We're expecting lots of sunshine over the rest of South Africa with maximum temperatures in the upper 20s and reaching 30 degrees over the northeastern areas. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.